Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, good morning to you Let me introduce myself first My name is Aga Delkansa Helga You may call me Asa I am from MTSN1 Yogyakarta Today, I will tell you a story entitled The Proud Rose in this beautiful morning The Proud Rose One beautiful spring day a red rose blossomed in a forest. Many kinds of trees and plants grew there. As the rose looked around, a pine tree nearby said, What a lovely flower! I wish I was that lovely. Another tree said, Dear pine, don't be sad. We can't have everything. The rose turned its head and remarked, It seems that I'm the most beautiful plant in this forest. A sunflower raised its yellow head and asked, Why do you say that? There are many beautiful plants in this forest and you are just one of them. The rose replied, I see everyone looking at me and admiring me. Then the rose saw a cactus and said, Look, look at that ugly cactus full of thorns. Then the pine tree said, Red rose, what kind of talk is this? Who can say what beauty is? You have thorns too. The rose looked angrily at the pine tree and said, I thought you had good taste. You do not know what beauty is at all. You cannot compare my thorns to that of the cactus. What's a proud rose, thought the trees. Red rose tried to move its roots away from the cactus, but it couldn't move. Days passed and the rose would look at the cactus and say insulting things like, This plant is useless. How sorry I am to be its neighbor. But the cactus wouldn't get upset and even try to advise the rose, saying that, Rose, God did not create any form of life without a purpose. Spring passed by and the weather became very warm. Life became difficult in the forest as the animals and plants needed water but no rain fell. The rose began to wilt. One day, the rose saw sparrows sticking their beaks into the cactus and then flew away refreshed. This was puzzling. The rose asked the pine tree what the sparrows were doing. Does it not hurt when they make holes? asked the rose. Yes, but the cactus doesn't like to see any birds suffer, explained the pine tree. The rose's eyes opened in wonder and asked, The cactus has water? Yes, and you can drink from it too. The sparrows will bring it to you if you ask help from the cactus. But the rose felt so ashamed of his past words and behavior to ask help from the cactus. But the rose needed water too, so the rose asked help from the cactus. The cactus kindly agreed, and the sparrows filled their beaks with water and watered the rose's roots. Thus, the rose learned its lesson. To never judge a book by its cover, or never, never judge anyone by their appearance again. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye.